Hello guys, welcome back to Programmarist. As you can see, I'm recording this uh, right around the New Year's Eve. It's actually 30th of December. Uh, I have a few spare hours and I decided to record a new video. Today I'm gonna talk about interfaces, where to use them, how to use them and what are they. So let's get started. So first thing first, let's create a new file for this episode. Let's call it interfacesintro.ts The first thing we're gonna see is how to create an interface with some properties, some methods. In the spirit of a new year, let's create an interface of Santa. Okay, for now we'll leave it empty and create a variable Santa Santa and it's gonna be of the type Santa and we'll create a new pole job. Now we're gonna add a new method so what's Santa gonna do? Santa is gonna uh, I don't know uh, give gifts give gift give a gift and it's not gonna return anything and now we can see that the variable Santa is not assignable to type Santa okay it's not variable Santa it's actually a plain object Santa it is uh, not assignable to uh, the interface Santa because it doesn't have the give gift function so let's create a give gift okay you can see when I start uh, typing the first letters it actually uh, shows me uh, the missing methods uh, that I have to implement in order for the interface to be uh, fulfilled. Okay, so let's create a give gift and it's gonna be a plain object, a uh, plain function, I'm sorry. It's gonna be a plain function. Now we're gonna add a new property. Uh, so what Santa has, let's say for example, Santa has, um, I don't know, a number of uh, kids to visit. Let's assume it's a property of Santa, okay? And it's gonna be a number. Okay, so in, uh, once again, uh, Santa doesn't have the, the variable Santa we created, the plain object we created here, doesn't have this property. So now we're gonna create the same property and we're gonna say, I don't know how many kids we're gonna visit this year. Let's say uh, some huge number. It actually doesn't scream at me anymore because uh, the plain object we created actually has the function we need and the property we need. So now we can see both the property and the function when we press the dot and it auto-completes and gives us the, uh, the suggestions of the function and the property we added. But let's assume we created a code that changes the number of kids to zero because everyone uh, was naughty, so he doesn't give any kids any present now. But let's, let's assume that Santa doesn't want us to change the properties, so we can add a read-only here. And now we can't actually assign to read-only property a value, but we can get it. Let's, let's have a number of kids to visit. It's gonna be Santa number of kids to visit. And this is okay because we're reading it. And this is not okay because we're trying to assign to a read-only property. So let's delete this. Now let's assume we have some uh, function but of, I don't know, uh, drink milk, okay, uh, and it's gonna do something and return nothing, and once again it screams at us that uh, the plain object we created doesn't have this method. But let's assume that uh, not all the Santas that uh, work every year, I, I don't know, maybe they change every year. Some Santa works on uh, odd uh, years, some Santas work on even years, okay? So let's assume not all Santas uh, want to drink milk. Oh, I'm sorry. Drink milk. Not 
that all Santas want to drink milk uh, because uh, I don't know they don't like mi milk they are sensitive to it. so we can say okay this is an optional sorry optional method okay and now the object we created here is actually a Santa because this method is an optional but we can implement it okay we, when we uh, press command space or control space uh, it actually gives us the function we can create so we can create some function that drink Santa drinks milk but we can actually delete it and it's an optional function same thing we can do with fun uh, with uh, properties for example uh, we can have a property of uh, weight okay and it's gonna be a number as well but some sometimes don't want to tell us what the weight are because they have a pretty big belly so we're gonna make it an optional property as well uh, and now we can see both weight and drink milk are actually a, an optional properties uh, and we don't have to implement them next up I'm gonna show you how to create function interfaces let's assume the give gift is actually a function that takes a while okay so Santa has to arrive to the kid and wait for the kids to go to sleep and th only then he can give the gift so uh, I'm gonna create an interface of interface um, gift given callback okay and it's gonna be callback that's gonna uh, return a success it's gonna be a boolean sorry a boolean and will not expect anything okay so uh, it means when Santa is trying to give a gift maybe the kid is actually waiting for him to show up so he can't give the gift because he needs to hide so let's say the give gift is now receiving a callback of the type gift given callback now when I'm gonna actually implement the give gift uh, I will receive the callback and call it with a result so let's assume it's actually always succeeds because Santa is very very good and uh, you saw that it actually knows the parameter uh, and the type of the parameter and not a complete let's assume now that uh, the Santa interface is actually given me from uh, some kind of library uh, and I want to extend like for example if I have a jQuery library okay and it has an interface and uh, you can add a plugin to jQuery library so let's assume that Santa is something like this and I'm gonna add I want to add uh, a fly method let's assume it has some kind of plugin plugin to add methods one thing I could do is uh, change the interface itself by adding a fly method uh, sorry sorry fly method okay but it's not really an option because we don't really want to change uh, the libraries that we're down downloading what we can do is actually extend the interface it's not actually it's extending it it's giving it more function and let's make it an optional because not every uh, Santa uh, will have it only our Santas okay so now it's an optional uh, function and we can see now that I will have this fly method on my Santa okay so I can do something like if Santa dot fly then Santa fly okay I'll, I'll check if the method exists on my Santa I will fly some uh, safety or I can uh, assume that all my Santas have to have this function and implement it like this sorry fly function does nothing 
and like this. So this is how I can extend an existing interface. Actually what it does is uh, when it says the same interface, it merges together those interfaces and combines the methods. Now I'm going to show you uh, anonymous interfaces. So let's take an example from previous episode, uh, types intro, and I will take this example of the tuple, copy, and I will paste it, oh my god, and I will paste it right here. It actually screams at me because it conflicts with the previous file, I'm gonna change it for those in this place, like two. And remember when I showed you last time that you can create a tuple and uh, access this with tuple two and access and uh, like let some name be tuple two in the first place. But it's actually pretty unreadable because uh, I don't really know the tuple 2 at place 1 when I look only at this code it's actually it should be a name well I can guess it because it's name and age and string and the number uh, well you can guess that string is a name but if I had two strings uh, I wouldn't really know what's name and what's an age so the way we can uh, do it is create an interface okay but let's assume we have only one place where we want to return this kind of uh, combination of name and uh, age so uh, we don't really want to create an interface a whole interface for this task so we can create an anonymous interface doing it like so okay let's move it to a new line okay so you'll see and now I can create I can return actually an object and it shows me that age should be something and name should be something else okay and now I can receive the tuple also as a anonymous type or I can leave and uh, not specify it actually so let's leave it for now for the example and I can access the name and the age of the uh, object returned to me so it's gonna be some name so I'm gonna use the name so this is how you create an anonymous interface without actually creating an uh, really an interface. Next up we'll see some uh, interface extension. So let's assume uh, we want to extend the Santa interface uh, and we want to create a very fat one. So we're gonna create interface and call it fat Santa and it's gonna extend the Santa sun and gonna create a function of it. Okay, so for now everything is actually the same, Santa is the same, I can use and see all the functions of Santa and it doesn't have the uh, it function, but when I create a let fat Santa be a fat Santa, I will not actually create an object, I can see that the variable actually has the function. This will create an error, so uh, I'll comment out this thing for being able to run the file. So when do you want to use interfaces? Well, you can use them uh, everywhere, like when you create a class, you can create an interface to, uh, to show the, uh, the properties and the functions you expect to get. It's actually useful if you create a library and you expect some like configuration object to create an interface for this configuration with some optional parameters and uh, mass parameters like with optional properties. Uh, so 
It's kind of like a little bit of documentation of your library. Another place you can use this is when you uh, get an object from a, like, uh, from a call to a server and uh, you want to, uh, to know the properties of this object and pass it around uh, your application and uh, know what the object has and what it doesn't have. To summarize, we saw today how to create a simple interface with properties, functions, optional properties, read-only properties, read-only functions, how to merge two interfaces, uh, like for example if you, ha if you have uh, some library with a plugin and uh, you, can, you want to extend this uh, and add your own methods or functions uh, or uh, properties, how, uh, how can you do it? Uh, we also uh, saw how to extend an interface and we saw how to create an anonymous interface for one-time use if you don't want to create uh, just an, uh, an interface declaration for one uh, time use, you can do it uh, very very simply. I hope you enjoyed this episode about TypeScript interfaces and learning new, new stuff. If you have some comments, something that I did wrong, please feel free to leave the comment in the comment section down below. If you want to see some other videos about TypeScript, uh, of me talking and mumbling about TypeScript, you can click here or subscribe to my channel or both. Thanks again for watching, happy new year and see you next time on Clover Marks.